Hi there, we're going to do a problem that looks like it would be difficult, but actually it's not. Forget the letters for a minute and just look at this, the C number and the A number. The A number is 1, so all I have to do is use the C number in Y equals. So I'll take 48 divided by X and then come down and say X plus 48 divided by X and then second graph. Now I'm looking for my B number 14 and here it is. Here it is. Um, it's accompanied on the same line by 6, positive 6, and positive 8. This is what I'm going to do. S squared plus 6SD plus 8SD plus 48d squared. Courage, it's not that bad. The terms in the middle will have the same letter combination as this term right here. I'm going to put parentheses around the first two terms, parentheses around the second two terms, being careful to leave my plus sign in the middle. Now I'll factor the first set of parentheses by the GCF, which here is S. That will leave me S plus 6D. Then I'll uh, copy down my plus sign and factor the second set of parentheses by the GCF, which will be 8D. So I'll pull out 8D, and I'll be left with an S plus 6D. 8D times S is 8SD. 8D times 6D will be 48D squared. Okay, now notice that we have S plus 6D and S plus 6D. That now is the GCF, so I write it down once. And then I write the leftovers. S plus 8D. And then I refoil to make sure I'm right. S squared plus 8 SD plus 6 SD plus 48 D square. So that's going to be S square plus 14 SD plus 48 D square, which is just what I started with. So this is the correct factorization. Now let's look at this problem, which is the same kind of problem. It's got more than one letter. x squared plus 12xy plus 32y squared. Again, ignore the letters. 32 is my C number, 1 is my A number, so all I have to worry about is the C number, 32. I'll enter that in the calculator. 32 divided by X, and then I come down to X plus 
32 divided by x. And then I say second graph. And I look for my c number in y2. My c number is 12, there's 12. It's accompanied by 8, 8, and 4. So those will be the numbers I write in the middle. x squared, yeah, double checking, all right, plus 4xy plus 8xy plus 32y squared. Put parentheses around the first two terms, parentheses around the second two terms, pull out my GCF which is x, leaving me with x plus 4y. And in the second parentheses, I'll pull out an 8 and a y, which will leave me with x plus 4y. Now the x plus 4y's match. So I'll write it down once, and I'll write down the leftovers x plus 8y. Okay, now refoil to make sure you write x squared plus 8, 8y times x is 8xy. And 4y times x is 4xy. And 4y times 8y is 32y squared. 8xy plus 4xy is 12xy. So yes, this is the correct factorization.